All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. They're certainly getting after it early. Great punch landed with so much power. Throwing that jab, no good. The guard lands the right hand. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Just over three minutes to go. Barboza gets caught with that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Kick lane. Oh, he tagged him with the uppercut there. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. Though. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that uppercut from a great angle. You're just going to stonewall me on that, John oh, Jones. Oh, I love it. I hit him with a ton of them. Mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. Jones. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. And he landed the right hand there. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, big left. Nice one, two there. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast. He's so Just missed with the left there. Ooh, what a punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to... Huge straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch land, and he's got him look very bad. So the crowd goes to the school. All right, round two. Barboza gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Punch is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Barboza gets caught with that punch. Just out of range with the big right hand. This entire fight, he landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find...
find himself in the match. Without the accuracy to land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to wrestle. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Good stick. as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Nice kick. He's hurt. Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be heavy. This fight is good. And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here. Oh, well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, King of Ninja Chicago! much for words during fight week he just kept saying and still and that's exactly how it goes ready you ready to fight Good. well it's a venue that needs no introduction the world's most famous arena madison square garden even for a boston guy i have levels of appreciation for the building I mean, when you walk into MSG, you get chills because you understand the history that comes with competing in this arena. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big punch land over the top. I was going to follow this one. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. He's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, beautiful hook there. Oh, big left. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. There. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Nice strike. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, nice combination. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh! Nice one-two there. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you... His head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Oakley versus Ngannou. And you know, they still have a part out of Oakley's head. Able to check that kick as well. Fight. Big left hook coming. Oh, oh big diving punch is good. Oh, you got That'll him. do it. You got, got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure.
sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called us off to this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mogaman at the Lord! Well, the celebration is on over.